In news from Jamaica, the government is confident it can provide most of the foods Jamaicans purchase from overseas. The country's food import bill has always been a cause for concern. However, there were moderate improvements last year when compared to previous years. In 2014, the food import bill stood at U.S. $43.6 million. That's a decline of approximately 5 billion Jamaican dollars. In 2012, the food import bill was a whopping 1 billion U.S. dollars. But Agriculture Minister Derek Kelly says the government is moving to address this challenge. Several agroparks have been formulated to ensure farmers prepare crops that islanders seek overseas. Mr. Kelly admits there has been some challenges. One key issue has been proper irrigation. Some agroparks are more advanced than others because of when they started and the issues surrounding one of the critical things, which is the irrigation system. Agroparks can't operate without um, irrigation, otherwise the, the production won't be sustainable. Um, in, in the um, Spring Plains Agropark, the irrigation system there has been completed recently and that is going to serve a large acreage of land. In Ebony Park, uh, there were some problems out there, uh, but that is now sorted out and um, they are back on track. But generally speaking, um, in New Forest Duff House, that system is working properly and there's a lot of production there. Out in Yalas, doing quite well, as, as you can see from the outcomes. Um, in the PGR as well, the irrigation system has now been put in place. And we are moving a pace to get them in all the other places that um, uh, we, are, we, are, we are doing agricultural production. The, in all the new ones that we propose to do as well, we are seeking to outfit them with all the necessary infrastructure to make them viable. There are over seven agroparks in operation. They include Plant and Garden in St. Thomas, Amity Hall in St. Catherine and Ebony Park in Clarendon. The Agriculture Minister says growing crops such as peppers, onions, condiments, fruits and vegetables also ensures food security. All these agroparks viable 100% whatever it takes because if we do that we can sustain the level of production and productivity even in the face of the worst droughts. You know, you can't predict what will happen under climate change, but we are moving to hedge against any future droughts of the ones that we suffered last year.